In this lesson, I will show you how to create a sketch entity using numeric input. I am inside the sketch already. I will take a line tool and now I will create a simple line. Before I insert second point next to the cursor, you can see it is showing the exact length of the line and the angle, which is sometimes good. Sometimes you need to know for the first sketch entity what is the approximate length. Let's say you want to create a line with a specific dimension. In that case, you have to use numeric input box. So first I will cancel this line. If I right click here at the top, you can see this is showing sketch numeric input. This is unchecked right now. So first I will activate this line tool. Before I insert my first point, right click and from here I can activate this sketch numeric input. Now, when I will activate it, inside this option, this add dimension added. So first I will put my first point. Before I put my second point, you can see this is the numeric input box is showing right now. And now if I put 50 and enter, then I do not need to insert second point. This is automatically 50. Just to check this, I will select this line and here you can see this parameter is 50. But sometimes this is helpful, sometimes this may not helpful. This will be more helpful when I will insert my 50 millimeter inside numeric input box at the same time it will also put the dimension then it will be more helpful so I will create it again before I do that I will select add dimension from here or right click from here I can select this option add dimension this time I will put 70 enter and you can see I will create my sketch entity at the same time I will create my dimension if I want to create a rectangle for rectangle, even if I don't put any dimension, let's say if I put my second corner, then no dimension is added. Now I will create rectangle one more time. This time I will select add dimension. I will put first point and second point. The problem is I do not put any dimension here, but I check this box. That's why this to put the dimension. You can get more control on this. I will go to option is case from here this is by default checked I will check this option create dimension only when value entered not every time this time add dimension is checked by default so first point second point but if I insert my second point this is not showing me the dimension even this dimension is selected reason is I changed my option last time so when I will insert any value inside the numeric input box at that time it will put the dimension only. So this is my first point before I insert my second point I will put 50 before I put enter I want to press tab to go to another dimension then enter now it will put two dimension even if I want I can put just only one dimension 50 then enter and for this I will not put any dimension here I will just randomly put this point here you can see this will put the dimension but this will not put the dimension so that's why inside the case you can keep checked these two options together that is the best option 